Hello, Simon from Mercury Tours here, and I've come into the old town of Edinburgh really early this morning. It's 7.30 to beat the crowds who regularly descend on this little fella behind me here. This, of course, is Greyfriars Bobby, Scotland's most famous dog. Um, the Sky Terrier, whose uh, devotion and loyalty to his owner captured the nation's heart in the middle of the 19th century. So the story of Greyfriars Bobby, or perhaps the legend of Greyfriars Bobby, goes something like this. Um, Bobby's owner was a man called John Grey, who was a night watchman here in Edinburgh. And whenever Grey went out on his midnight patrols, Bobby was always with him, always at his side. The pair were inseparable. So much so that when Grey died in 1858, little Bobby here sat at his grave, refusing to leave, guarding the plot for the next 14 years. Um, until right up to his own death in 1872 at the age of 16. Well, the following year, 1873, was when they unveiled this lovely life-size statue of Bobby behind me here. And it stands just at the, near the entrance to Greyfriars Kirkyard, which is where Bobby and his owner John Grey now rest. However, in recent years, there's been an unhappy twist to the Greyfriars Bobby story, because those crowds of uh, visitors who regularly descend to see him have taken to rubbing his nose for good luck. Um, this is a recent development, this is not an old tradition, um, and while the luck-giving qualities of Greyfriars Bobby are extremely dubious, the damage this, all this rubbing is doing to his brass nose is very real indeed, so much so that expensive restoration work has twice had to be carried out. So if you come to Edinburgh, please do visit Greyfriars, Greyfriars Bobby here behind me, uh, but please don't rub his nose, um, the little fella really doesn't like it.